What is going on guys, my name is Drakesy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a brand new video. If you do enjoy these best possible squads, then be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content coming onto the channel. But today's squad is going to be a Bulgaria squad. So if you are Bulgarian or you just like Bulgarian footballers, then you're going to love this video. Now before we get into this video, I do want to mention that on FIFA Ultimate Team, Bulgaria only has 10 players that you can pick. So I can't build a full squad, so one of the players in the team isn't from FIFA and I've just put them in for a bit of a laugh. You'll see who it is. Let's get to the team. So starting us off in net, it's Mitov. Now Mitov is a 56 rated bronze, he's a rare card, he's nothing amazing but he is He's Bulgarian and that's all you need to get into this team. He's actually the only goalkeeper that Bulgaria has on FIFA Ultimate Team this year, but still, for a bronze, he's got pretty good stats. The stats that are standing out to me, seeing as though he's 56 rated, a 63 for diving, and then a 61 for speed as well, which is pretty good speed. It's actually really, really good speed on a goalkeeper card. So yeah, his speed isn't too bad, and to be honest, the rest of his stats aren't too bad either considering he's 56 rated. Now we move up to the first centre-back in this team, and he's actually the only centre-back in this team. He's the only centre-back Bulgaria have on Ultimate Team this year. But looking at his card, he's 64 rated, he's a rare bronze card, and his pace isn't the best at 32, but once again, like I said, Bulgaria doesn't have that many players to choose from on Ultimate Team, but some of his stats are quite important. 74 for uh, physical isn't too bad on his card, and then 64 for defending, so his defending and physical are pretty decent, considering his overall, and seeing as though he's the only centre-back Bulgaria have. So this is the fun player that I've put in. As you can see, I've put in an old Dimitar Berbatov card. This card isn't in FIFA 19, but like I said, to just fill out the squad and make the squad work, I've had to just put in a fun a fun player, basically, to kind of get the squad uh, as 11 players. So yeah, if you didn't know, Dimitar Berbatov used to play it for Bulgaria. I think he has retired now, so he will no longer be in this team uh, internationally in real life. But he did, in fact, play for Bulgaria and my favourite, Manchester United. He was a fantastic player and I love him to bits, so I put him in this team. And uh, yeah, he is in this team, but he's not in FIFA 19. He's just here to make 11 players. And the last player into the defence is going to be this guy called Popov. Now, Popov is 70 rated. He is a right back, so he isn't actually naturally a centre back. And I usually wouldn't put players out of position in teams. But like I said... Bulgaria had 10 players, so they were one shot of building a building a full team. So, you know, I had to build this team just for you Bulgarian fans. I hope you guys are enjoying it. And uh, yeah, looking at Popov's card. So he's 70 rated, non-rare silver, 70 overall. And looking at his stats, he's not too bad either. 72 for pace, he's got some decent 60s on his card, 74 defending, and then 69 for physical, meaning that he's practically... He's an all right silver if you add him in your team. He's just, uh, yeah, he's the only other defender for Bulgaria in FIFA Ultimate Team this year. The left midfielder for this team is going to be another player out of position. But as I did mention, there was 10 players. We had to build this team. I had told myself I'd do it. And as we can see, this guy's called Kolev. So he is actually a striker naturally. But if you were to build this team, he would work. He just wouldn't get full chemistry in this position. He's 68 rated. He's a non-rare silver card. 74 pace. He's not too bad for a, winging, for a winger player. You know, he's, he's got some decent pace on his card. And looking at the other stats that stand out to me, the, the key one's that physical at 77. He's a very physical striker. He's got decent pace. For a silver card, he's not too bad, seen as though looking at his overall. Now, I'm not too sure how to pronounce this guy's name. I think it would be Creve in English because of the A and the E. We would say it as Creve, but I'm probably sure that it's not right. It might be Kraev, Kraev maybe, but I'll say Creve for now. He's 62 rated. He's a non-rare bronze again into the team. He's actually got some decent stats for a bronze as well. 62 overall, but he's got 66 for pace, not the worst. 61 for shooting, 66 for dribbling, and then, uh, yeah, those his key stats but yeah he's got two stats over his overall rating and it's pace and dribbling he's not the worst center mid that i've ever seen 
And speaking about decent centre mids, we come to this guy called Chokhev. Now Chokhev, or Chokhev as I just said, uh, he's 74 rated, he's a rare silver card. I think, I forget the name of the team, um, but yeah, he is actually playing out in the Serie B. I think it's the Italian Second League, and I forget the team. I know the team because I know that, oh, oh, there was a player that used to play for him. Oh, it's gone from my mind. Ah. Oh. So I just looked it up and it was Palermo. I knew the team, I knew the badge, I had to just go and look it up. But as we can see, looking at Chokhev's card, he's got a pretty decent card this year. 67 for pace, not too bad. 68 for shooting, 70 for passing, 71 for dribbling, 69 for defending, and then 76 for physical. A fantastic card, kind of an unexpected one, but yeah, Bulgaria do have some fantastic players this year in FIFA, it's just a shame they don't have 11 players to build a squad. And speaking about fantastic players, we come to the right mid. This guy I have never even heard of. He's called Delev, or Delev. And as we can see, 70 rated overall silver. You wouldn't think much about it, but when you actually look at his card, he's got a fantastic card for a silver. 87 pace on this card. It's non-rare silver. I thought when a, when a card had a stat that high, they, they became like a rare silver. Uh, so as you can see with Chokhev's card, he's got 76 for, for like physical. I thought that would make him like a, a rare because of how, you know, the stat is so high. But looking at Delev's card, 87 pace is absolutely incredible. 70 shooting, which is pretty decent for a winger as well. 72 for dribbling. And then on top of that, the 66 for physical, meaning that he's not actually that weak for a silver. He's got a very good card and could be a hidden gem silver in the game. Now we move up to the only gold in the team, and that's the centre attacking mid, another guy called Popov. That's the second guy called Popov. Uh, I've actually seen this guy before. I'm pretty sure he's had uh, an inform in previous FIFAs, maybe even a team of the season. But uh, I believe he's playing out in the Russian league for one of the Spartak Moscow teams, or is it Spartak... Uh, yeah, it is Spartak Moscow. I've just looked it up and as we can see Popov is a non-rare gold 76 rated center attacking mid card and once again got some pretty decent stats for a 76 non-rare 76 pace uh, a 74 for shooting and passing 75 for dribbling and then 74 physical all round a decent card would have been good to see him get an inform and get you know a higher rated card kind of 80s nearly all over his card uh, but yeah, still a solid card, and now we move up to the strikers. Now we move to the strikers, and as we can see, this guy called Galabinov, I think so you would say his name, Galabinov, uh, he's 71 rated, he's a rare silver striker, his pace is not the best at 53, but his other stats aren't too shabby. 72 for shooting, 62 for dribbling, not the worst, and then 76 is the key stat on physical for him, but yeah. Shooting and physical, obviously he's not that quick, but still for a 71 rated silver, he's pretty beastly in those categories. Now we come to the reason why we built this team. It is in fact Stoichkov, the icon, the legend, whatever you wanna call it, the fantastic, incredible card of Stoichkov. He is a fantastic legend. If you've never seen him once again, potentially go and see if you can find some clips of him on YouTube. But this guy is absolutely fantastic. Stoichkov is a legend, 92 rated, or an icon, whatever you want to say. 92 for pace, 93 for shooting, 86 for passing, 92 for dribbling, and then 86 for physical. A fantastic legend icon card, whatever you want to say still. What an incredible team. Like I said, obviously Berbatov is not in this team. I've just put him in because he's one of my favourites and to make up the 11. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching it. What an incredible team. Some kind of hidden gems as I mentioned in there. If you are Bulgarian, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. I'm glad I could kind of make a team even though you don't have a full team. But yeah, very, very nice team overall with some hidden gems and that just incredible, incredible card to finish up. Legend icon Stoichkov. What a fantastic card, you know? Just, just can't even speak it's that good. But thank you very much for watching, guys. If you guys have enjoyed it, be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe for more content in the near future. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I have been Drake. See you in a bit, guys.